Expected. Uh, so it's all good to be left to football. We look at the starting lineup. For Clarendon College, Roche Burrell is in goal. Rogel Francis, Nashon Bold, Devontae Hodges, and Atiba Green. The back four in the middle of the park. Theon Cupid, DeAndre Gadimore, and Malachi Douglas, number seven, who has 15 goals to his name so far this season, as well as 13 assists. Up top, Justin Hales on the left. Christopher Hull with 12 goals on the right. And through the middle, Kahim Dixon, 25 goals and 16 assists beside his name. What a season he's had. So often he has played second fiddle in teams at Karen and College, but this time he is the main man, Dixon, and expecting a lot of him today. As uh, Gavin Maceo, their starting lineup sees Chris Mar Maxwell in goal, Tyreek McKinley, Orlando Lee Blake, Malik Robinson, and Devani McIntosh, the back four in the middle of the park, Christopher Mundle, Canroy Williams, Delana Thompson, and Livingston Donaldson. And up top, Jelani Williams, who has 11 goals to his name. And of course, their captain, dangerous number 10, Cleo Clark, with 22 goals. Yeah, so th both these two teams have dangerous marksmen. Cleo Clark has been around so. It was always a cagey affair, Dwight Jeremiah. And uh, you, you, you thought that they weren't playing close to their potential in this one. Yeah, well, definitely in the first half, both these two teams really look off the pace. Well, the, the conditions weren't conducive. Yep. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here, and you're right, the, the first half, there wasn't a lot to write home about. Clarendon College showing a little bit more ambition. In fact, they came closest on a, quite a few occasions, hitting the woodwork there. And uh, the follow-up from Christopher Hull, eventually handled by Maxwell. But Dixon with a massive chance there. Maxwell with a wonderful save, you know. And who knows, he may just be the hero at the end of the day because he certainly came to the party on a couple of occasions, rescuing Garvin Maceo. Well, Douglas took the game by the scruff of the neck, was brought down inside the box. Penalty awarded. And he would eventually pick himself up from off the turf to convert from 12 yards in stoppage time. And the defending champions with the advantage at the interval here. 1 0 the score. In the second half, Gav Messeo stepped up, clear Clark hitting the crossbar. He knew he was close. And then another opportunity for Clark again. And uh, it was a really good save at that near post as that one was fired in. And uh, this was some good work by Clarendon College. Wonderful build up, several passes put together. But again, Maxwell denying them. And then penalty awarded. Referee saying that that challenge was on the line. Clear Clark from 12 yards putting that one away. And that was the equalizer. Celebration taking some inspiration from Shamar Nicholson recently for the Reggae Boys. And that was enough, firing them back level with the defending champions. It was 1-1. Then they pushed the college supporters as we take a look at the shootout. It was accurate for the most part. Do I, Jeremiah, some good penalties? Yeah, started well for both teams. Two first penalties, perfect for both teams. And the change bringing on Rodney paid off here. Yeah, denying Clear Clark. And uh, that was the twist that a lot of us didn't expect. And that was put away coolly 
And then a lot of pressure on him to convert. Yeah. Omarion O'Brien sent it wide. And with that, Clarendon College, they were back in the Lacoste Cup final. And a genius of a change there to bring in Rodney. And that you have to be brave with that because you do that, it doesn't... With the KFC man of the match, Malachi Douglas. Thank you. I'm joined by KFC man of the match, Malachi Douglas of Clarendon College. Congratulations, Malachi. Let me have a quick chat with you now. Well, Malachi, I'm sure you're overwhelmed with emotions now. You beat your rivals on penalty kicks. How does it feel? It's a wonderful feeling, actually. Remember, um, 2021, we actually played a game against them in the um, semi-final and lost. So it's feeling, I'm feeling very great to actually win this one and also to be the man of the match. Speak to me about the substitute keeper that came in and saved that penalty from Cleo Clark. Speak to me about his performance. Well, to be honest, he's been waiting on this moment, to be honest, actually. Every day in training. As you can see, I always score my penalties in games and in training, I'm always missing against him. So, the team believes in him and also me, for sure. Well, Glenmuir would have beaten Vintil on penalties as well, so you're going to play Glenmuir in the next game. How excited are you about that game? Well, you know, it's going to be a very, very tough one, but we'll always give it our best. Send a message to Glenmuir in the camera right now. I want to send a message to the CC fans. We're going to, for sure, keep you guys... Make you guys proud, actually, and you know we're just gonna fight to the end. All right, Malachi Douglas, thank you. In time. All right, that was man of the match, Malachi Douglas, of Clarendon you College, the back in the Da Costa Cup final. I'm joined now by Coach Meron Gordon of Garvey Maceo. Coach, you made it to the match. I know you were coming from Canada, but I know you couldn't miss your boys today. Um, speak to me about the performance. You lost on penalties, slim margins, but how did you see the game? Um, you know, since I came back, I've been very sick with hot and cold, but I just could miss this. Um, I think tactically we planned for them. Um, I think we really did well tactically. Um, they have a lot of quality players, though. You know, so if we lose the ball in certain years, you know, it'll be dangerous. And I think my, my team really, you know, stood to the task right through. Um, I think this, this game was fit enough for finals, you know. Um, but hats off to them, hats off to Coach Lenny, you know. I hope they can take it all away. Um, and, you know, congratulations to my boys, you know. When we started the season, nobody expected us to, to do so good. But, um, you know, sometimes it's not the best players, but the right team is the most important thing. And I just want to be, you know, thanks everybody that supported us, you know, past students, the Alliance, you know, everybody, principal, um, vice principal, the teachers who supported us all right through the season, you know. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, man, big up. All right, yeah, that was Coach Meron Gordon there. Couldn't get it done against local rivals. Clarendon College and against his student. Coach asked you about Meron Gordon earlier. You said he's the teacher of one of the courses that you are taking in. Yeah. I don't know if you think you're going to be sent to the back of the class now. <laughs> but speak to me about the game and the win. No, man, he's supposed to bring me at the front. That I can go and work with him with one of the national program. That's the aim right now. I'm doing the B license now, so I'm waiting on that to come through. Yeah, talk to me about the goalkeeper change. He saved one of the most surest penalties in my opinion from Cleo Clark. Um, are you glad that your game plan worked today? Yeah man, definitely. Um, we've been kicking penalty from three, four months ago. Every session after session we have penalty shootout. And uh, this goalkeeper, he saved a lot in training. So the goalkeeper coach, the coach, I could put him in now. That is Kemar Foster from, from Waterhouse. He's our goalkeeper coach. And he made the call, and I, I, I was agreeing with it, and that's the reason why Lydell went in the goal. Well, you're into the final now. Glenmuir would have won on penalties against Dintel. Yeah. And what do you think about the matchup coming up? Good matchup again. Love playing against the Glenmuir team. They are a ball playing team. So we just have to go and prepare for that. Tuesday is an crucial game against Idel. So we'll be looking forward to that. Oh, well, we can re replenish the players get them rested and ready for Tuesday game. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Yeah, thanks. All right.